Hello everyone, welcome to the GCast Network. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. We have the opportunity to speak to Simcha Gluck, Senior Facilitator for Fresh Biz. Fresh Biz is an Israeli company that blends gaming and education. Let's say Kosher Luck. Whenever you start a business, it's, uh, it's exciting. And you have a lot of uh, you know, beliefs and visions of where it's gonna go. Your company is doing something very interesting with uh, gamification. Uh, for educators, for entrepreneurs. So tell us a little bit about how you got started and about your, your game. Sure, uh, in a nutshell, uh, last July I went through my first workshop. I was invited by one of the partners to uh, come to a workshop, play a game. It sounded really cool. They used some fancy terminology, entrepreneurial, multidimensional thinking. I didn't really understand it, but I went out, I played a game. Um, it blew my mind and it wound up, uh, over, over the next few days, I had the game continuing to work on my way of thinking. And uh, I really understood the distinction between transformation and inspiration. Whereas opposed to being inspired, which is short-lived, transformation is once your mind is unlocked, it just doesn't go back. And I was able to really um, bring those results of, of entrepreneurial thinking to my various businesses that I had. And uh, I knew that I wanted to run workshops. I ran a bunch of workshops. One of the founders really loved what I was doing and basically said, Simcha, I want you to become a founder with us and really help take this global. And I was just super excited about the opportunity to change the way we play life. And this is this comes out of Startup Nation. Israel is a leader of innovation, and uh, this game revolutionizes the way that you kind of think about business, the way that you think about investing, the way you you know kind of live life. Um, walk us through the game. Walk through the game. Sure. Um, when you start, you have 90 minutes to go from the start to the uh, winner spot that's located on the island. And in order to do so, you have to go through four different sections of the board. Um, to cross through the different sections, there's a toll of a few million dollars that you have to pay. So you really got to be creative enough to be able to come up with the money needed to be able to get to the winner spot. And uh, you know, in terms of that creativity, you could either use uh, leveraging loans or stocks, business opportunities, uh, partners, negotiations with other players that are around the board. Uh, one of the things that a lot of players really like to take advantage of are action cards, which are essentially your unique gifts qualities and connections that you have in life and the goal is to basically use a combination of all those different dimensions to achieve the objective so uh, one of the things that's not really a secret but one of the things that's key to know is that the objective is not to get the most money possible just like life isn't about making the most money possible it's about realizing what your objective is and using money as a resource and as a tool to be able to get to the objective so our goal in training people on entrepreneurial and multi-dimensional thinking is to teach them how to be able to leverage whatever they have to develop the uh, a really adaptable mindset that can help them win the game and achieve a lot of success with it too. And this is a great training ground for entrepreneurs because in life sometimes you don't get that second chance. But with, with this game, you get to try out some of your ideas, uh, being able to, uh, to take some risks and learn from them. So tell Definitely. us a little bit about that process. Sure. Well, a couple of things. One is what's great is that if, if you wind up in debt or if you wind up not finishing, your life still goes back to normal at the end of the 90 minutes. So it's really good training ground. One of the things which has been awesome as we run workshops for some really big companies around the world is that we've been able to tailor make the websites. For example, we've had companies that wanted to focus on teamwork. So we've been able to run workshops that specifically flex the muscles of teamwork. We've had companies that have been in startup mode that wanted to uh, play a game around expanding the pie. How could every one of us jump on board and bring that much more value? So we're able to use Fresh Biz as a perfect platform to develop whatever entrepreneurial muscles uh, people want to develop. I mean, I play the game probably 10, 10 different ways of playing the game, and each time, I mean, even though I play the game close to 100 times, it, it, it's there's still insights, there's still breakthroughs in every single time I play the game. So it is great training ground. And one of the things also we tell people is, whatever behaviors that you like when you play the game, take it and just copy and paste that into your life and you're gonna get success. And this is, uh, you know, you, went from, you also went from startup to, you know, to a little bit uh, more of an established business. Uh, talk about like how, how, how come is Israeli innovation is prompting these types of uh, innovations. 
Well, I think that um, I think that why Israel is because Israel has to be flexible. Israel has to be adaptable to be able to have the success that we've accomplished. I mean, to be able to in less than 60 years go from a third world country to a developing country to a developed country to, in my mind, in a couple years, a world leader. Okay, when we have almost no natural resources, it's just phenomenal. I mean, the natural resource that we have are our minds and our mindset. And that's why, you know, uh, for us, one of the most powerful things is to share that entrepreneurial thinking with the world through a game and a game-based workshop so that people can literally uh, start to develop behavior around it and be able to just apply it in their life. So Israel's really been a perfect training ground for us. We're definitely proud to be part of the Startup Nation uh, and in my mind, a really big Kiddush Hashem as well. And uh, you just launched your Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. Uh, walk us through what's happening with that. Yeah, sure. We just launched our Kickstarter yesterday. Um, Kickstarter is an amazing platform for entrepreneurs with great ideas to be able to uh, get funding through the crowd through offering really incentive rewards uh, and um, and as opposed to venture capitalists, which is sort of very 1990s, if you will, where uh, there's investors and, and, and people you know, that get stock in your company and people that come in and essentially they sit on your board, we wanted to go a more traditional route to keep things really pure. So uh, we're basically running, uh, you know, running the Kickstarter campaign to, run, to generate the money that we need to create the digital version of the game and the physical game by just reaching out to our family, our friends, our fresh business around the world, uh, entrepreneurs, coaches, and educators that see our game want to take a part of it and want to have it early before you know before it gets out to the world so uh, we're really excited uh, our first day we already generated a few thousand dollars a number of backers and uh, I'm really excited to see where it takes us over the next 31 days that we're running the campaign and what's your vision for the future um, my vision for the future is o over the next two years we'd like to um, we'd like to have about a hundred thousand people at least play the game we'd like to have about a thousand facilitators running workshops uh, bringing this insight to schools, bringing this education to companies and nonprofits. We already have a number of our facilitators around the world that are already doing that. But to be able to amplify the message and to really help the world develop the right mindset for the new world that we're living in is powerful. Uh, I know that we'd like to also print and sell 50,000 games for holiday season so that 2013 already starts with a big entrepreneurial push. Um, that's really our goals, that's really our vision. Um, and we're just really excited to just have this be in multiple languages, players all over the world being able to unite through, uh, through our Fresh Bizzers iPhone app and just build an incredible community of win-win and team-spirited people. And where can people learn more about your company? Well, if you go to freshbiz-game.com, that's a great opportunity to, uh, to really check out some, some behind-the-scenes stuff about us, see uh, the number of workshops that we're running actually while I'm here in New York City. And then if you go to kickstarter.com, you type in Fresh Biz, you'll find our campaign, you can check out our video. Uh, we had a real blast coming up with a lot of the rewards for our backers. I mean, we really, our goal was to make it be really, 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 um, really phenomenal, really creative. So we're, we're very proud of our campaign. So Fresh Biz is going into the education market as well. Uh, tell us uh, a little bit about that. Sure. We have, uh, right now, we have our facilitators in South Africa that are currently building curriculums for schools because it's never, never, never too young or too early to start developing the entrepreneurial mindset that we need in today's world. Uh, and then we have some of our top trainers that are, are back in Israel that are right now also working to create full curriculums ranging from literally from a three-month program to a six-month curriculum for school systems. Uh, we've had everything from literally from eight-year-old children up until we had an 88-year-old uh, who went through our workshop and played the game. And you know, when people ask me who is it for, it's for it's for any thinking individual as a way to transform their mindset. So that's really what we've been up to so far, and what we're excited to do in the future as well in terms of education, in terms of uh, companies, nonprofits, consultants. Uh, really, it's the entire world of who this type of development of uh, thinking is for. As you can see, FreshBiz is a unique way to bring your entrepreneurial spirits to the forefront, challenge yourself, and learn something new about business and life. This is Arne Herman, and thanks for watching.